What's up? Isaac Hoffman here about to bring you another sick hike. Yeah, buddy. This time coming from Black Diamond Mines Regional Preserve. We're going to go check out some really cool old school coal mines. Come on and join. Yeah, buddy. Right now it's a crisp January day. Actually, I recommend coming out here in the winter because then you don't got to worry about poison oak and running into your buddy the rattler snake. What's up? Isaac Hoffman here at the Rose Hill Cemetery. This is a cemetery that is up here in the Black Diamond Mine Regional Preserve. And this is a spot where they buried um, 19th century coal miners uh, that died while mining coal back here. And this place is steeped in a great history. Um, I hope you have the passion of adventure to check it out. Um, this is a, a burial site right over my shoulder. This white one right here I'm pointing to is actually the burial ground of a witch. And it says it right there. Um, and so I guess some people believe this place is haunted. Um, in the 1960s, it was really ravaged and tore up by a lot of people who used to come up here and party up here apparently. And so uh, that's the state you see it in today, which a lot of the uh, graves and stones are missing and um, they preserved it as best they could. Um, so it's just a little message out there to be a steward of your environment and uh, leave no trace. Cheers. here and I hope you have the passion of adventure to come check it out because going up there is definitely well worth it. Cheers. Hey buddy, what's up? Now I'm at the top, baby. Ran up that ish. Woo! Get out and run sometime. It's good for you. One thing I don't like to see up here on the summit is this right here all bad this can be used in so many different ways you have no idea i'll show you one you want to catch my breath <laughs> we are up here in the cloud mountains 
Oh yeah. What's up? So, if you can follow the trail markers the right way, you can be led to a really cool spot called Jim's Place. This area has a really cool labyrinth of old cool uh, coal mines that you can check out and explore. Jim's place is one of them. I hope you have the passion or adventure to come check it out. Cheers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So cute. It's like someone had a fire in here. Yeah. yeah. That circular hole is one. Oh, that's old school, right? Yeah, and they yeah. consider all those uh, hole, uh, the cave, yeah, caving no, car carve-outs uh, shelving units that they had. Oh, oh sick. Here's where he prepares his meat with the Leave no meat trace with the glass. So here we have the MTV Crib. Hello everybody, MTV Crib! <laughs> yeah. What do we got? Right there, what's that? We got the sofa. couch right there. The sofa. The we got leather. the fireplace over here. We have the drinking cone. The drinking cone. We have the chimney. <laughs> So, along our hike, you can find remnants of the old coal mining. They have huge deposits and slabs of rock hanging around. Check this one out. It's just a big fucking pile of like molted coal slag or something. What I'm walking over is remnants of the coal mines up here. It's just all over the place. Nothing growing out of it, except for some good old manzanita or something. <laughs> They'll grow out of anything.
talk about this after I'm gone? Because uh, <laughs> gonna be like Check out these cool caves you can adventure in while here. What's up? Isaac Hoffman here just finishing up a cool hike at the Black Diamond Mines Regional Preserve and while I was hiking I found this water bottle on the ground which is not cool because you should practice LNT principles while out hiking that stands for leave no trace there's a variety of things that you can do with this water bottle as well if ever in a survival situation. Um, you can boil water with these actually. And another little hack that I learned uh, from uh, Creek Stewart. Uh, check out uh, Creek Stewart's YouTube videos. Um, they're really sweet and informative uh, little survival hacks. I'm gonna show you one thing that Creek showed me with this water bottle top is how to make a whistle out of it. This is a little survival hack. So you can take the top off right here and you can segment this top into three sections, okay? What you wanna do is you wanna cover the bottom two sections with your thumbs, just leaving the top section open like that, just a little sliver out. And then what you wanna do is you wanna force air into it, all right? And you can actually make a little whistle sound. Well, as you can see, it takes a little practice. So I hope you have the passion of adventure to check that one out. Cheers. Like and subscribe, thanks. <laughs>